how do you know if you have a rare 1982 penny in this video i'm going to tell you everything you need to know to make sure you aren't missing any rare 1982 penny worth potentially thousands of dollars welcome back to all money prices if this is your first time here and you want to learn more about rare coins and paper money start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything let's jump right into the video up first we have a 1982 one cent lincoln head penny that is zinc and it has a large date graded by pcgs a mint state 68 red the highest grade we can get in grading is 70 and this is only two points away from that grade it is a zinc variety coin you also have a copper type but you can tell that it is zinc by the appearance of the coin once we get to a copper coin you can compare the difference the zinc coins tend to have what look like bubbles or little specks on them as you can see from this coin pcgs also designated this as red meaning the overall tone and color of the coin this will increase the value at some points especially collectors who collect red types of coins I'm going to throw up a comparison of the small versus the large date generally speaking the small date is going to be worth more money than the large date Tell exactly from this chart how you're going to tell the difference between the two. Make sure to pause this and come back to it if you ever need this reference. So this penny sold for $114. These pennies are out there in circulation. You can find them. And these coins, imagine finding a penny and it being worth $10 or $20. Turning a penny into this much money is great. Here we have another 1982 Lincoln Ed penny. And you, can, you should be able to tell immediately that this one is zinc because of the appearance. All of that speckling and bubbling happening on the front and this is also a large date graded by PCGS a mint state 68 red same as the last one but this one a little bit different color and appearance to it and that's why this one sold for $258 here we have another coin but the only difference here is this penny is a 1982 small date it is still zinc but I wanted to compare the small date versus the large date because this small date nearly identical in every aspect that it is red it's MS 68 it is a one cent zinc penny from 1982. The only difference is that small date and this coin brought $456. So just because it has this smaller date, you can tell the price difference is quite significant. Here we have a 1982 Lincoln head penny that is zinc and it has a large date. You can tell immediately that this coin looks different than the previous ones. And even though it has a large date, the overall tone and color plus the grade resulted in this coin selling for $881. Here we have another 1982 one cent zinc large date created by PCGS a mint state 68 red so again it really depends on the timing of the market and what the collectors are really looking for at the time and the overall appearance and look of the coin but even though this is a large date this coin sold for $1,292 so this is what you really want to be looking out for this is the 1982 one cent bronze small date graded by PCGS a mint state 68 red pairing this coin to the previous coins you should be able to tell a difference immediately Go ahead and scroll back to the previous coins and compare these two. You should be able to tell a difference here with the bronze penny versus a zinc penny. The zinc penny is going to have those bubbles and specks. The bronze is going to look like your typical normal penny. Combine that with it being a small date and grading two points away from the perfect grade of 70 at a 68. This one cent penny sold for $3,525. Now imagine going through your spare change and finding something like this. Here we have a 1982D one cent Lincoln head penny with this small date graded by NGC and AU, meaning almost in circulated 58. You can tell there's a lot of gashes and nicks on the coin, but that still doesn't mean that the coin won't be worth thousands of dollars just like this one. But this is considered a transitional coin. The 1982D coin should have all been zinc, but this one got struck on a bronze planchet, and these things combined made this coin sell for a staggering $8,400. $400. If you have a 1982D coin and it's bronze, that's going to make the coin worth a lot of money. Here we have a really nice one. This is a 1982 Lincoln head penny that is bronze with the small date graded by PCGS, a mint state 67 plus red. So it has the small date and it graded extremely high and it has a plus grade. All these things combined and look how nicely lustrous and shiny this coin is. Collectors just love this type of coin. Because it has that small date, this coin sold 
sold for nearly $10,000. That's right, guys. This coin sold for $9,987 for this penny. Here we have another transitional 1982D Lincoln Head penny with a small date that is bronze graded by NGC and AU58. So the big thing on these 1982D for Denver mint marked coins, you can see the D under the date there. You want to make sure that your coin looks bronze. You can tell the difference in this video. I showed you of some zinc coins at the start of the video. If your 1982 coin looks like it's zinc, it's going to be worth less money, but it's still going to bring, you know, decent money. But this example with the bronze planchet sold for $10,800. Hit that subscribe button. It really does help out with the YouTube algorithm. Stay tuned for more, and I'll see you guys in the next video.